Welcome to my first ever shoe haul. And I am so excited for this shoe haul. I have not taken these out of the box. My husband actually had to check these for me when they came in because the box had been retaped and I just would not look at them because I wanted to see them for the first time on this video. And I really love doing these organic videos. I think they're fun. They just allow me to relax a little bit and I am shopping for shoes and I have had trouble finding shoes. So I ordered five pairs of shoes and then I have some shoes that I've already owned. Some I bought this year, some I got last year that are pretty much still available and are really good. So I'll share those with you at the end. So this might be a really long video. If it is too long for you, there will be chapters that you can go to each section and look at what you want to look at. But I wanted to have a little fun with this one and you might find some shoes in here that you were looking for um, because I'm gonna review all these, try them on and just give you my feedback on the spot of what I think. And so hopefully you'll find this as much fun as I'm having doing it. So uh, we will go ahead and jump in and look at these and I'm gonna start with this big box <laughs> and I'm just gonna pull these out and I'm so excited for this pair it's by Reformation and there is a pair on their website that I want that I didn't want to buy from their website because I just I don't know how good they are and they're a little bit expensive but this is a really good brand and I love this sandal I thought oh, it's so cute. So I love having neutral colors. I really need a good neutral flat sandal, but I wanted it to still be a little bit. Sorry if that's making too much crunchy noise for you. I'll try to be careful about that with my mic. But these, so these are so pretty. They are real leather. They're made in Brazil and I loved the straps. So let me come up to the camera and just give you a close up of these because they are, they're really beautiful. And so uh, they have a really low heel on them and they look a little bit narrow. I usually have trouble with sandals because my feet are pretty narrow and they are definitely not narrow. <laughs> oh, see, that's why I wanna try shoes from places instead of their website because they're not gonna be easy to return. And I don't know that I can make these work. They are beautiful, but they're too wide on my feet. Bummer. <laughs> but if you do not have narrow feet, I didn't think this through very well, did I? I actually wanted to come over here and show you the shoes. But you can see, you can see how wide they are on my feet, but very, very pretty sandal and a good low heel. So you can absolutely dress these up or wear them casually with jeans. So I like them, but they're gonna have to go back because they are, they are way too wide for my feet. I, have, I don't usually buy narrow shoes, but like brands like Sam Edelman and there's some other brands I've had good luck with that fit really well on my feet, but these aren't great and that's disappointing because these were my favorite that I ordered. So um, we'll just have to keep moving. But these are from Reformation and I would say it's a really good sandal. I think this was came in gold too, um, but really pretty. They look really comfortable, feel comfortable, but not going to be good <laughs> for me. This is a pair of Steve Madden's. Uh, I honestly don't even remember what the shoe is. <laughs> oh, so I got a little crazy on this one. <laughs> Since the moto style is so big, I had to order these. And they seem to be pretty popular. A lot of people have liked them. And I thought they were kind of cute. So this is the Steve Madden. <laughs> And this is a really popular sling back right now. If you want something that's a little bit more trendy, <laughs> we shall see how these work. They're a little bit chunky. Um, of course, the narrow foot, I'm going to tighten them down and they may, it may look stupid. <laughs> it might stick out too much, but that's not too bad. But these come in several colors. And the fun part about this one is 
I actually got this from Amazon because the Steve Maddens in this one are a faux leather. And you can get a Dolce Vita that is a real leather, I think. It's on back order, but it looks almost exactly like this. And the ones from Amazon are also a faux leather. And so I actually already opened these by accident because I wasn't thinking when I got it in that I was doing it for the video and I got so excited. But these are half the price of the Steve Maddens. And I'm gonna put one on my left foot. And so the Steve Maddens are a patent leather, so they're a little bit shiny. And these are just a regular leather. And I actually think I like the Amazon pair a little bit better. They're a little more white. So I'll stand up so you can see those. They're a little bit more white. They're not as shiny. The straps are a little bit thinner. But actually, I don't know. I think the Steve Mad might feel a little bit better. But for half the price, I, I don't know. Because I think the Steve Maddens were maybe 109 119 And these were, I think, maybe 70 bucks with tax. So um, it depends on if you like a shoe like this and want to wear this trend. Uh, I like the white. I think it's cool for spring and summer. But there's not a huge difference. They both feel good. One shinier than the other. This one on the left from Amazon's more white. The Steve Madden is goes a little bit more cream. So it would just depend on what you would want to do. But for half price, I'd probably go go with the Amazon pair. <laughs> okay, so I took a break and was wearing these for a minute. And I do think the Steve Madden feels a little bit better. Um, but I think the one from Amazon is going to loosen up. Um, so it would be up to you really how much you would want to spend. And these come in lots of different colors. And I think they are a really, really cool pair of shoes. Uh, if you want something a little bit edgy, uh, I think they'd be great with some of your classic looking outfits. I just styled a video on black and white. So they'd be great with some of your black and white outfits. And um, I just think they're they're kind of cool so I was going out on a limb with these but um, I, I don't know I think I think they're interesting so uh, if you want something a little interesting that would be good and it's a you know those slingback shoes are really on trend right now so this is an open edit I remember this shoe and I wanted to get this one because the Birkenstock look and that kind of chunkier big strap sandal like the Birkenstocks are very on trend right now but I don't like the really chunky ones and this was a new um uh, something is oh it's the buckle I'm like something is making it sound like a bell that is the buckle um anyway this is it was something that I thought was cute and it's actually a lot cuter in person than I thought um online but this kind of platform well let me pull the other one out and so you can see these actually it looks like someone opened these and returned them but these are those they have cute little gold studs on them and they do have the wrap around the toe but it looks like it's wide enough where it wouldn't bother anyone and you can see that that is very much a, a little bit of a platform so we'll see this chunkier platformy sandal is big right now oh yeah and they're they're pretty wide let me see if i can get them tightened down luckily some of these straps are adjustable but you can't adjust the front strap <laughs> so you guys can see what i go through trying to find shoes and you might relate to me because i love shoes like i could not wait to open this box i got it last night and i, I was gonna do this haul later on and i just couldn't wait because i love shoes so much and i wanted to see these but these are really, really cute. If you have just a medium width foot and shoes normally work well for you, this is adorable. I think there was another color. I think it came in either a tan or a white. Um, but this strap here is a little too wide on me. Uh, I wish they made that one adjustable as well. But the footbed is good. It feels really comfortable. And this little toe um, strap is comfortable as well so I really 
really love these and these were not expensive the reformation i think were the most expensive and then i have a sneaker in here uh, that was probably comparable to the Steve Madden, but this one was not expensive and really cute. They did a good job. Open Edit is a Nordstrom brand. These all came from Nordstrom and um, I really like it. I can't keep it because the straps are too wide, but I do really, really like this. Very cute. And you can style this with shorts or dresses. And this one is actually very minimal compared to a lot of the other <laughs> junkier sandals that I have seen. So that one, that one is good. Now for this one, I'm really excited about this one. I hope it works. Uh, this is a Dolce Vita silver sneaker and it's crackled. And I wanted to order this from Dolce Vita, but they were back ordered. And I saw that Nordstrom had these. Let me pull out the left one. Oh, they're so cute. Oh wait, that, this is the, the right and the left, okay. Oh my goodness, so adorable. They, these are another retro sneaker that, are, that is just so good. I love the crackle. I think it is so cool. So it's silver crackled. And it's got the brown bottom that I love on the retro sneakers. And the lacing is actually tan. So it's a really, really interesting mix. And this is a really cute sneaker. I hope it works. <laughs> so we'll see. Sneakers, I can usually get away with them being a little bit wide on me. Which I'll mess with those later. Because I can just wear a little bit of a thicker sock. Mm. I like Dolce Vita shoes. I think they do a really good job on their styles. Those are cute. Those are really cute. They're super comfy. It feels like they have a little bit of extra in the heel, which is nice. Um, but those are fun. Those are very retro and very cool. And I love the crackled leather. It just makes it to where they're not so obtrusive in, in the glowy silver category because sometimes silver can be a little obnoxious, but these are fun. I think these would go with a lot of different things too because they are neutral and I love how they mixed in the tan here. So those are absolutely adorable. I think this is my favorite pair so far. So if you want a very cool sneaker that's more retro styling, then you should definitely think about these. And I know they came in lots of other colors if you don't want silver. I know there was a pink colorway, a blue uh, or green colorway. There may have been a blue colorway and some other options there. So those are pretty cool. Okay, so now I have a Mia sandal that I ordered. And let's hope this is cute because I didn't do too well with my sandals here. And this is considered an espadrille. I've been looking for an espadrille. And this has the really cool uh, espadrille type heel on it. And it was pink. It came in a few other colors. I think there was a black, uh, ivory, maybe a tan, and then the pink. And I thought the pink was really cute. So let's see here. I really should have put more thought into how I was doing this, but you know, being organic and I was super excited and uh, just wanted to get into these. <laughs> I really didn't think about what I was going to do. Um, and this doesn't have any, they're kind of a stretchy strap. So um, they're way too wide for my foot. <laughs> so that is a bummer, but they are so, so cute. I love this. I really love the idea of this. And I don't know, this is the first time I've ever, ever ordered this many shoes and what, three out of the five were too wide for my feet. And you, I mean, you can see, I wouldn't even be able to walk in these. But such a pretty shoe. And I love that little heel that's like an espadrille, but it's not in a wedge, it's just a heel. So, so cute. I really wish these fit and I did not show you 
a close up and I love that. I love the little stretchy, little stretchy straps. I think they're really cool. So here is a close up of this one. So, so cute. And then that is, that is the heel, which is pretty cool. It was pretty comfortable too. These straps are really soft. Um, they're rounded, which is nice. There's not any sharp edges or anything. So that's a really good one. So if you need a cute little espadrille style sandal, I think this one is really good. Okay, so I guess I'm keeping the silver sneakers and I'm going to decide on the two, the Steve Madden or the um, Amazon one because I'm not super sure yet which one I want to do. But I also got, which I ordered these from Nordstrom this year. Um, it's this little Steve Madden sandal. And I think this was popular last year. And I loved that it was cream. And this one has the Velcro straps. I'm gonna make some noise. So it actually works really well for me because I can tighten them. And this was one of those chunkier Teva style sandals that's really popular. But I loved this because it had the gold hardware on it and it makes it look a little bit nicer. But these are really good for a lot of your athleisure outfits. I think I've already styled these in videos, but I wanted to talk about these because they're so comfortable and they're very on trend. You may hate them because they're chunky and I put them on and I was like, oh, those just look so weird. Um, but I have grown to love them with some of my really casual things and um, they're super, super comfortable. So um, I really, really liked these. And there are all kinds of fabrics that they've actually created these with that are new. And I know these come in black and there's some other ones that were really cute. So I will link all of these shoes for you if you're interested in any of them. I just wanted to have some fun and <laughs> show you what I go through <laughs> and just show you some cute shoes because they were all cute. They just didn't fit that well. And this one is a close up. And this one's really good, you can see the gold hardware there but really really good one and with my narrow feet those velcro straps worked really well and I have talked about these a ton this is a Walmart shoe this is a great espadrille by time and true I have styled these in a lot of my videos and I won't buckle them but these fit really well for my little narrow foot but if y'all have seen some of my styling videos, I have styled these in them and I have really liked these. I think they were 30 bucks or something, which is, is really, really good. So I think an espadrille, either something like this that's closed toe or something open toe like that is a really good shoe to have in your wardrobe for spring and summer. And I do have an espadrille that I wear. It's old. So I was looking for a newer one. Um, I just hadn't found the right one yet. So if you have an espadrille that you love that you think would work for my foot, please let me know in the comments. But I also got these from Scoop, which I love, but they're like a slip and slide, so you have to be really careful. You need to scratch them up. But these raffia style sandals that are just slides are really cute right now. And this one was, I think, $30. But I think Sam Edelman makes one that I might consider. I've seen them and I just think these are really, really cute too. So the style of this is good. You have to be really careful because they slip and slide, but, um, and I bet the Sam Edelman's wouldn't because they're probably real leather where these are, you know, plastic on the bottom. But those are really, really cute. And the Raffia sandals are very, very popular. So I just, I'll talk about these black ones because I just recently got, got these black ones, which these are a strappy little scoop sandal that I got from Walmart again. And I have so enjoyed these and these are not too wide for my foot. So, um, it's just, it's weird. You just never know. And I'll put one of these on so you can see it, but these are really comfortable too. It's just an easy little sandal to throw on with some of your casual outfits or casual dresses and things but i think the strap here is a little loose but it feels good when i move around so i think it's fine 
but that's been a really cute sandal and I think that was $30 so uh, Scoop does some really good good uh, clothing and shoes and accessories and stuff this has been one of my absolute favorite sandals which they are they have this available this year as well I got this last year it is a Dolce Vita I have not found anything that I like better than these and so I love this shoe it goes with everything it's very neutral it's skinny straps and a kitten heel which are very on trend right now and i just haven't seen more of this that would work for me and so i love this shoe i wear it with dresses i wear it with jeans i mean dressy or casual so i do highly recommend this shoe and i do think that they still have lots of different ones of these available even on the Dolce Vita website but I think they had them at Nordstrom as well so I will link some of these for you if you're interested in anything like this and then I wanted to tell you about these because I have talked about these before hang on I've styled these in some videos I got them last year because silver is a big trend right now that's why I got the silver sneakers and I think those are so fun but these are just a silver sandal and these can be worn with shorts or dresses or jeans. I have literally put these with all kinds of things and they do have an ankle wrap. So I don't really spend a lot of time on getting it perfect. I just wrap it and then wherever it evenly meets, I tie it. And this is great if you do struggle with having more narrow feet because you can tighten the straps down however tight you want them and this one really works for me and it's super comfortable and I think it comes in gold and probably a black and some other colors so this is a really good one I'm, I might need to get this in black so um, I have loved this and it's by the drop on Amazon and I highly recommend it it's been one of my favorites so but these are all the shoes that I have, and this was so much fun. I wish some of those worked out better for me, but hopefully I helped you if maybe you were looking for something or just entertained you because of all the stuff that has gone on. But I will definitely be keeping the silver sneakers, I think, because those are adorable. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and let me know if there was a pair in here that you really loved, and um, let me know if you want me to do more of these. I know it's very organic, but... It's very fun for me and I just can let my hair down and just be myself. So um, thank you for watching. Remember to love your neighbor and be kind. And if you loved this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. And I will talk to you next time.